Hey guys, Robinson DUP. <clears throat> Excuse me, just finished up my workout. Uh, some uh, squats and deadlifts. I think I said in my previous video, sumo squats, I meant sumo deadlifts. But anyway, I wanted to talk about um, probably the worst enemy you could possibly have uh, in terms of achieving anything in life, even so much in fitness goals. It's like what I call the comparison game. Uh, people always look at you know, well, I've been working out for six months, and this guy's been working out for four and a half months, and he's further along in strength or progression or, or something to that matter. Or, you know, I've, I've been trying to do this for two weeks, and I've only dropped two pounds while they dropped five pounds. Um, this constant, like, comparison of what everybody else is doing. And uh, you have to understand, everybody progresses at a different rate. As much as you wouldn't like to hear that, that's the truth, okay? So I have clients where... You know, when I'm putting them in a cut, they'll, and I tell them right up front, listen, the goal is to lose a pound a week, okay? We don't really want to lose more than a pound a week. Uh, I don't want you dropping six pounds in a week. The, the, the goal is really a pound a week. We want to do nice, slow, healthy uh, fat loss, weight loss, um, while trying to maintain as much muscle as possible. And after about a week or two, the person will be like two or three pounds down, which is right where I want them to be. And they'll say, well, you know, I, I was looking at somebody else and they dropped seven pounds. Okay, but is said person just trying to lose weight or is said person trying to maintain as much muscle and potentially compete in a, in a competition like a, in a physique or a bodybuilding competition? So that person's getting wrapped around. Well, I only dropped two and a half pounds and that person dropped seven. Yeah, but the idea is your goal, one, is completely different than the other person's goal. Okay, so you're not trying to just lose weight. You're trying to preserve as much muscle and cut body fat. That person, their goal is just to lose weight because their head is wrapped around that weight is what matters when it really isn't. Um, or, you know, everybody's macros are different. So I have to get to, you know, some people can eat 500 grams of carbs a day as a maintenance, okay? For them to bulk, they have to go way up in calories and they'll complain about someone like me who has to you can only eat like 310, 320, 330, and I'll put muscle on and weight on. Um, but the, the reverse is the same. So when I'm watching somebody who has 500 to 600 as a maintenance on, let's say, carbs, for instance, they have much more room and the ability to cut more weight while still using more calories, where I don't have as many calories to use to do a cut. So I have to be more strategic with cutting slowly, adding in cardio when necessary, even though cardio is not the main ingredient to weight loss. Um, using refeeds and other strategies and giving myself more time to get ready for a show than some other competitors need. So every time you're looking at what somebody else is doing, you have to understand that everybody's body is different. Okay, Some people can cut weight faster, some people can put uh, muscle on quicker, some people can eat more calories and not gaining weight, while somebody, some people have to can only eat, you know, eat a lower amount of calories to maintain weight. Some people have the, the advantage to be a hard gainer and drop weight a lot quicker when they cut from those calories where someone like me has to take a lot more time to get ready for a show. So stop defeating yourself. Just remember what the goal is in the end and continue to strive to get there. Is it going to be easy? No. If it were easy, everybody would have the ideal body type that they wanted um, just by walking in the gym. And I think that's where a lot of people... Um, have made a mistake. They think that they, because they went to the gym for four weeks or six, six weeks or six months, that they're immediately going to have the end result, and it doesn't work that way. Listen, if you put if you're 40 or 50 pounds overweight, you didn't do that in five to six weeks, okay? Um, so if you think you're going to just cut off 40, 50, 60 pounds of weight in five to six weeks, you kind of have unrealistic expectations. And I think everybody needs to start getting a grip on what reality is. I know what we see these 21 day fixes and all this marketing stuff. And I somewhat blame the fitness industry for some of these unrealistic expectations, um, for putting these stupid things into effect. Um, you know, people on Instagram who are photoshopping the shit out of their, their pictures to show like these instant results that actually didn't happen or they're staging pictures to look better than they actually look. Um, but people have to start pulling the wool off, taking the wool off from over their eyes and like waking the hell up and realizing that a lot of the fitness industry is designed to just sell you stuff. They're designed to sell you an image. They're designed to sell you basically garbage um, just to keep you buying and consuming. You're the one who has to have the thought process to say, hey, listen, 
bullshit. That's a temporary fix at best. It's not going to work, and I need to stick to what my plan is um, to get the end result. So if that means it takes me three months longer to get there, six months longer to get there, four years to get there, whatever it is, that's what you need to do to get the end result. And understand that, you know, whether it's putting on muscle or, or cutting fat, it's not a it's not a sprint. It's not how fast you can get there. Your body is going to, you know, when you start to get to when you, once you start to drop a certain amount of weight, your body's going to go into preservation mode and want to hold it. it, it it's doing that by design. It's the same thing as that the human body only wants to put so much muscle on. It doesn't want to have too much muscle. So you're going to have to fight to keep it and or put on more. Um, it's the reality of what the human anatomy is and the human body chemistry. So just calm down, relax, be patient, don't get, I know it's hard, I, I go through it too, but try not to get too frustrated. Whenever you start to hit sticking points, whether it's gaining strength, gaining muscle, or fat loss, take a look at exactly what you're doing, how long you've been doing it for, and if and where needed, make slight adjustments. Don't do anything drastic. All right, guys and girls, talk to you later.